Okay, we're going to look at the latest 30 days of COVID victims data coming out of New South Wales. Between 8th of December 2021 and 6th of January 2022, 57 people have died with COVID-19 in New South Wales. Remembering that all this data can be found on the New South Wales Health website in their media releases section. For example, for January 3rd it states, Sadly, New South Wales Health is reporting the deaths of four people with COVID-19, two men and two women. Two people were aged in their 70s, one in their 80s and one in their 90s. Three people had received two doses of a COVID-19 vaccine, one person had received three doses. This includes a woman, a woman in her 90s from Western Sydney who died at Bolton Clark Cabrini Aged Care Facility in Westmead. It is the first death linked to an outbreak at this facility. Of the 57 victims over the last 30 days, 23 were male and 34 were female. When it comes to age distribution, one person was in their 20s, one in their 40s, one in their 50s, seven in their 60s, 16 in their 70s, 20 in their 80s, and 11 people were in their 90s. Regarding vaccination status, there were five people where they did not publish their vaccination status, all in the most recent publication on the 6th of January today. Sadly, New South Wales Health is reporting the deaths of six people with COVID-19, five men and one woman aged in their 20s, 60s, 80s and 90s. Two people were from the Lake Macquarie, Macquarie sorry, area, three were from Western Sydney and one was from the ACT. The man in his 20s from the ACT died at St Vincent's Hospital. He had received two doses of a COVID-19 vaccine and had no known underlying health conditions. Over the last 30 days, five of the victims had received three doses, 32 had received two doses, two people had received a single dose and 13 people had not received any doses. According to New South Wales Health, to Tuesday 4th of January across, across New South Wales, 95% of people aged 16 and over have received a first dose of a COVID-19 vaccine and 93.6% have received two doses. I'm not quite sure why they didn't publish the bulk of the vaccine statuses in today's media release, although they thought it pertinent to include the vaccination status of the 20-year-old. Hopefully it's just a one-off and they'll continue publishing the vaccination status of all individuals from tomorrow. I'll let you know if they don't, which honestly, it wouldn't surprise me. It seems like government cover-up is the name of the game of late. There's a bit of breaking news, if you can call it that, coming out of my home state of Queensland. Queensland has recorded 10,000 new confirmed COVID-19 cases and its first death related to the current outbreak. A man in his early 80s who had been treated in hospital for other conditions died on December 27th has been confirmed as a COVID-related death by the coroner. It is the eighth death recorded from COVID-19 in Queensland since the beginning of the pandemic. Again, another COVID-related death. Do his underlying conditions count towards his death as well? Or is the only thing worth noting, COVID?